Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Sarah Chidiberito. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Ellen Hub channel where we engage you with news content from all around the world, educational content relevant um, to all students out there, and then entertainment. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. And for those of you who haven't, what I'm waiting for, this is the time to do that. And when you do subscribe, which of course is free, it doesn't cost you anything, um, also remember to click the notification bell such that whenever we have new content, you'll be the first to know. But again, before I delve into the reason why I'm here today, I would like to say a massive thank you to all the subscribers. You guys, you're killing it. Thank you. We appreciate you. This is a time where you encourage others to be part of our family. So, again, if you're just dabbled on the platform or you came here to learn a thing or two about media communication, this is also a good time for you to just click that subscribe, uh, subscribe button and become a part of our family. Today, um, I'll be talking to you about celebrity and development communication, which is a course I taught my first year students at the university this semester. Um, I think we engaged for 12 weeks or so, but I was away for about maybe four of those weeks and I had to get um, someone to come help. John did an amazing work uh, filling the time out. I went to Australia, I went to New Zealand rather. It was such a beautiful, beautiful experience, which I will share when I do find the time. I'll tell you all about the trip. And then when I returned, like a week later, I took off again to Ocean State where I participated in the IIAS. Again, I don't want to give up too much. I'll tell you about it. And I'll bring my friends um, from the IAS community to come share their thoughts as well. But today, it's my students. They're having the exam a couple of days from now. So this is just to refresh their memory, to remind them all the things that were said in class and all the things that John filled in um, when he filled in time for me. Some of the things that he taught uh, my students. But of course, the content here is also relevant for anyone in the media and communication field. It's really important. And what is it about? It is understanding the role of celebrities, famous people, with lots of money, lots of friends, lots of influence and impact and effects on others, celebrities. The role that they play in this thing we call development communication studies, um, development communication more broadly. Development communication uh, typically or just generally involves the use of communication tools, strategies in the context of development. And development is improving the quality of lives of people, their well being, their health, their welfare. Um, so we want to understand that intersection. Again, before I dig in deep, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? It will cost you anything. Just click that bell and welcome. Get ready to benefit from the rich resource that's Ella and Hall have for us. Okay, we'll jump in now. Celebrities play a significant role in the context of development communication, which I explained earlier as the use of communication for development, the use of communication tools and practices to improve the well-being of others. They do this because they are able to leverage their influence. Influence in this context means the ability to have this strong effect on people, the ability to convince others, the ability to get others to act like them. They are able to leverage that influence, their visibility, the fact that they are seen everywhere, they are recognizable, they are famous in other words, and then the platforms that they are in control of, whether it's the movies or their platforms like their handles on social media, uh, they are able to use all of this you know, for good, um, to drive and promote social causes, whether those causes are around dealing with things around poverty and hunger and injustice, they are able to do that. They are also able to raise awareness, let people, their followers know about some of these issues and then they are able to galvanize people, mobilize them to take action. Think about some of the biggest campaigns that we've had all around the world, or some of the protests that we've had in Nigeria and other parts of the world. You see that for once in a while, the celebrities involved. Think about what's happening in the United States. I mean, Trump and Harris, they had their debate, and Harris won, by my estimation. 
But it was even more important that that same night, Taylor Swift made this massive announcement, throwing in her support for Harris, and that made it even a stronger conversation. Now, is she able to change everybody's mind? Maybe not, but she's able to at least influence significantly her flaws. Now, that's a context of election, which is really important. But think about what celebrities do in the context of, say, there's a disease outbreak, for instance, during the COVID-19 pandemic, or some of the issues that Nigeria is facing now, uh, what celebrities are doing to change all of those. In the photo here, I have um, Bonner Boy, who, through his own um, outpost reach, is able to go to different communities and on, on a one-on-one -on -one basis have interactions with people and give them some kind of support because he is aware um, how this benefits him, how this makes him look, but more importantly, um, the fact that he's helping people out because he's in a better position. He's recognizable anywhere he goes in Nigeria. At least a significant number of persons to know him. And so um, he's a classic example of how celebrities are able to participate and use their platforms for good in the context of development communication. And just to make progress here, it's important for us to understand who celebrities are. So who is a celebrity? Who do we label as a celebrity? How do we define them? How do we recognize them? What are the definitions? What are the interpretations by various authors? How do they say who is a celebrity and who is not? That's the next thing I'd like us to talk about. According to Oxford Reference it's a Dictionary, a compilation of dictionaries, it describes a celebrity as a person in the public eye who, for better or worse, has earned fame or infamy or found renown or scandal as a consequence of some act or supposed quality and is celebrated as a result. In other words, people who are just recognized, whether for good or for bad, and if we think about it, if we look, I mean, there yeah, are lots of examples. Um, Kim Kardashian is famous for that kind of uh, summation. You know, there was this scandal that made her famous, but she's able to she's been able to turn that around. And lots of people, football stars, we know them, uh, and so to a very good extent, these people qualify as celebrities based on this definition. The next definition here is by Daniel Boston. He, he says a person who is known for his well knownness. Yes, just some people who just know. And the reason we know them is because we know them. They're just there in our faces. We recognize them. We know we don't we can't really pin down why exactly. What is it about this person uh, that makes this person famous? What have they achieved? What have they done? Um, and there are different explanations for this. But there's some persons that we just know because we know them. And this is how he describes it in 1992. He says a person a celebrity is a person who is known for wellness. Because think about it really, everybody knows everybody. But there are some who are, you know, more out there, more recognizable. They just pop up sometimes, except something happens. That's when you now think about like, why is this person famous? Or what is this person known for? So those sort of people again fall into the label of celebrity. And anybody can be a celebrity. Um, so the next definition here is the one by uh, David Giles or D. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but he says the ultimate modern celebrity is a member of the public who became famous solely through media involvement. Yeah, think about what social media is doing. There are a lot of people who, on a normal day, won't know them um, if not for social media, if not for their large following on social media. I mean, think about it. We've known tailors and designers for a very long time. They've always been part of our culture. But think about Vicky James and all the amazing designs that she's throwing out there and how she uses her platform um, to allow us to see it. And she, she, she sort of presents them, tells us the story behind some of her biggest designs. So celebrities will wear the outfits, but she will take her time to come using her own platforms to explain. You know, so media affords her that opportunity else it would be difficult. Maybe a few persons might know. But because we have these massive media platforms available everywhere, we have mobile phones in our hands, we have our laptops, we have our computers and so on and so forth, we're able, and because we are also on these platforms, we're able to engage directly with these people. Okay, so that's another definition of who a celebrity is. There are definitions. This one is by Ahmed and Faik in 2022. It said, a celebrity is human entertainment. Not in terms of traditional performance, but rather a person who simply, by being, 
by existing offers enjoyment for others. There are just some people who, when we just see them, we just must start laughing. Think about all the comedians, <laughs> you know. Think, I mean, think about even uh, celebrities. I mean, they always give us a reason to sort of smile, probably because of some backstory around them or because of maybe of some scandal or some role that they played. They make us happy. Um, I mean, celebrities are part of the reasons we watch movies. We want to see how well they interpreted it. There are just some names, for instance. Every time I hear Jennifer Lopez, I want to go see the movie. I want to. I mean, if I hear Tom Cruise, I want to go see the movie. If I hear Iniedo, I want to go see the movie. If I hear Risa Dominic, I want to definitely go see the movie. If I hear Genevieve, oh, I need to go see that movie. Um, so, they are full of entertainment. We don't know these people personally. But just the beauty of the artistry compels us you know, to go see their work. And as we do that, we have some form of enjoyment. Um, and there's so many. I mean, think about comedians, for instance, like Basket now. I mean, I think the day I'll see him one-on-one, -on -one, I think I've met a couple of these people maybe doing their shows or uh, maybe I'm traveling and I run into them. But I think Basket Mouse is the one person that as soon as I see him, I'll just start laughing. Because once I see him, I'll be able to recall some of his best jokes and, you know. Um, so he, he, of course, he's human, doesn't he always humanity, but his artistry is what I know him for. So for me, he's a kind of human entertainment. And I'm sure that you can relate or tell that kind of story about all of this. There's another definition here, as you can see, there are several and to various degrees here. The condition of being much talked about. Oh my, think about just, was it last week, Victor Simen, I mean, these guys, footballers, were wealthy. We don't know them, but because they're popular, they're famous, they've done a lot in terms of their work. It's just so exciting to watch them. He, he, I mean, think about transfer seasons. I don't know what club was supposed to buy him or not. He was just in the media space for days on end. You know, for those of us who are not necessarily football fans, we don't quite get it. But as a media scholar, I'm able to, you know, understand it at the deeper level to say okay this is why this is happening so he's a celebrity and so he's much talked about think about it um think about ronaldo one billion subscribers across all platforms if the guy sneezes everybody you know takes on cold um, so yes a celebrity is someone who is much talked about and lastly we have the definition by Donald, which is really really important in the context of what we're doing now and the context of uh life as it is lived now. It says, the person that have attained fame as a result of their talent within an extremely noticeable popular culture industry, such as musicians, movie stars, sportsmen. Think about it. A lot of the people that we know as celebrities, a lot of them, that's because of their excellence in a particular field. From Wizkid, to Burner Boy, to Cavemen, um, to the Okochas of this world, um, I love JJ, um, to the Kanoa and Kors of this world, um, to movie stars, I mean I just named some of them from Genevieve, I mean doing amazing stuff to Ramsey Noah, to Shegu Arinze, and all those beautiful people that we see, we know them because of what they've accomplished, okay, their talent, their artistry, a lot of the people, a significant number of the people that we call celebrities are so called because of what they've been able to accomplish in life. And so these various definitions um, from the ones I mentioned earlier around um, the Oxford interpretation of it, or Daniel Boston's interpretation, or David Giles, um, to Ahmed and Faith's definition, to what Moody and Lockhouse had to say, and then to Adorno. All of this put together are the various interpretations of who um, a celebrity is. At this point, I'd like to pause a little bit and leave a question for my students to say, okay, now that you've heard these different definitions, I need you to come up with one unique definition or interpretation of a celebrity. And I want you to leave it in the comment section. When you do that, I need you to leave your name and your matriculation details um, so that I can look at it and be sure that you understand exactly what is being said. Okay, I'll repeat it again. I want you to look at the six definitions of um, celebrity. And then I want you to give your own original interpretation of it as best as you can. Who do you think a celebrity is? 
put it down in the comment section okay Okay, so the next thing I want us to dig into is, of course, if there's a definition for who celebrities are, it also means, and if we think about it, there should be different types, right? Uh, there are people who are just famous for being famous, there are those who are famous because of the talent that they have, and then there are those who are famous because of what the media or the nature of the media platform. So that's the next thing I want us to tackle, types of celebrities. The first type of celebrity, and this, I mean, there are different interpretations in the literature, but this types of uh, this classification of types of celebrities are those offered by Chris Rojek in his book Celebrity, which he wrote in 2001. Chris Rojek, 2001. 2001, the title of the book is Celebrity, you could choose to look it up. Okay, so the first type of celebrity that Chris talks about is the ascribed celebrity. And these are individuals who attain fame and public recognition, primarily, primarily due to factors beyond their control, such as family background, inherited titles, or social status. Their celebrity status is often linked to birthright, lineage, association with other famous people. Yeah, there are people like that. The David Dose of this world, uh, the Prince Charles is of the Swalls, people who their parents are kings and princesses and kings, so people who just come from money. Their delicates come from money. Um, the Illuminus, Illuminus are very wealthy people, so even if they don't do anything, they are famous anyway because they're wealthy. Think about Dangote, a very famous person in Nigeria, the richest man in Africa, I believe. I think someone has overtaken him, but I'm in our house, he's still the richest man in Africa. A shout out to you, sir. Um, so, I mean, as Christ celebrities are those people who attain fame and public recognition because of their background. The next type of celebrities uh, that we discussed in class is uh, achieved celebrities. These are people who gain fame and recognition through their own talents. I mean, look at the photo there of the lady you know, doing that job. Amazing. Um, our sports stars, our music stars, our actors, actresses, um, our academies. Think about Chimamanda Adichie, beautiful in the world of literature, doing amazing work. She is a classic example of an achieved celebrity. People who have done something, and as a result of that, they have been celebrated, they are recognized, and they are loved by people, they have influence. As a result of what they have done, They've been able to build massive fellowship on social media and elsewhere and as such they're able to have a strong impact on people okay so the last type of celebrity is the celetoid celebrities and these are individuals who attain short-term fame often characterized by intense but fleeting media coverage their celebrity status is typically generated by a specific event appearance controversy or participation in reality tv rather than sustained achievements or long-term contributions okay there are lots of people who fall into this categorization and i would like for you to remember a few and name a few if you like in the comments um we know about our bb ninja stars a couple of them who just because they went on the platform now we know their names recognize them uh, we will see them in the streets we sort of say hey um, as though we've always known them but these are people who are just famous because of the media um you remember that lady who came on uh, just because she made this gaff uh, in a particular church in nigeria and two days later, she came out to tell us, oh, she's not a celebrity, therefore she'll be on her bills. Do you remember her? I don't want to name any names here, but I mean, um, that's an example of a celebrity. So they're just famous for a fleeting moment, and then suddenly we don't get to hear from them. But it's also important to emphasize here that sometimes celebrity celebrities can evolve into being other types of celebrities, okay? As some persons who are made famous by the media, and then just by them being consistent and achieving different goals, you know, accomplishing different things in their own fields, then they now became either achieved celebrities, or sometimes they marry into wealth, and then they become ascribed celebrities. I hope for the conversation here. These are some of the things, um, the three types of celebrities that we discussed in class. The first one is the ascribed celebrities, achieved celebrities, and then lastly, celebrity and celebrity. I want us to now jump in and begin to talk about celebrity culture, what it is, 
um, and remember where we're getting on or what the objective of this course is to talk about the relationship between celebrities and the work we do as development communication practitioners. The celebrity culture um, refers to the societal fascination with and adoration of public figures, often driven by the media and popular culture. I mean, sometimes it's near overwhelming when these people just sneeze jump we want to hear all the gossip we want to know who they're dating we want to know who their parents are we want to see their kids we're just fascinated with their lives because they are visible because they are famous because they are known because they have certain access that we do not there's justice and it's been on the rise for decades now I mean think about the Yosemite example that I gave earlier how I mean that was his private life right he doing his stuff in football. This was about his life, but everybody had something to say about it. Everybody had an opinion. Think about the celebrities when they're going through stuff. You know, we, people on social media call themselves online in-laws. Once you bring yourself out, people will just jump in, opinion needs, drag you. You know, it's, it's um, a complicated world out there. Um, so that's what we refer to as celebrity culture. This is a of fascination with and attribution of public figures. All of this is a person that we notice uh, because of what we're talking about, celebrities and their role in their form, because all of this can be leveraged for good. Okay, so, but, but we also know that even though we've always had celebrities, there's something about social media that's made it even more popular, giving everybody a chance to become a celebrity. And that's what I want us to talk about next, social media and the rise of influencers. Social media has played a vital role in shaping the rise of influencers and uh, fundamentally altering the celebrity landscape. Now, almost everybody can be. If you have the numbers, if you have the content, it doesn't matter how you look, it doesn't matter how you dress, it doesn't matter where your background is, it doesn't matter where you're from. Anybody can be a celebrity. You know, anybody can be anything just because of social media. If you understand the platform, if you have the right content and you're able to be consistent, anybody life from you can actually be an influencer or you know in other terms celebrating but, but why is that the case what is it about social media that makes it, that makes it so easy um, for that to be the case it's because of the nature of these platforms i'll give you a classic example so the first one is democratization of fame and reach what social media has done is giving everybody access to platforms and so you can directly engage with people you can show your most authentic self and on social media, you can, I mean, you don't have to talk about everything. You can just specify your focus on one particular aspect. For instance, we know of the Jackie Inez of this world, who all she talks about is things around the beauty, the beauty industry. She dabbles on other subjects, but that's her main field. And think about the Tayo Inez of this world, large followership. What he mainly talks about is travel, showing us these exotic sites. And a little bit, you know, in a glimpse into his own private life. So these platforms afford this kind of allow anybody to become famous and that's what we mean by the democratization of fame you can also consistently build a platform meaning today you can have 1000 subscribers and the next you have a million subscribers i mean think about ronaldo with over a billion subscribers amazing and that's because of social media um, the technologies behind it make this possible. The next one is creation of authentic and visible content. That's why social media is really for people who have the capacity to be their most authentic self. You know, I mean, you can fake it until you make it, but really, the people that we really do love are people who are not afraid to, you know, lower their guard, tell us about their most intimate secrets, talk about others, tell us stories in the most relatable ways. You know, it's that authenticity. And the content there is by the self, user-generated content. And then there's also the ability for them over time to brand themselves. Think about the kikis of this world. Think about um, all the amazing stuff and all the beautiful people that we see, including, I mean, Ellen Hobb is also there. We're also contributing to our label. <laughs> we also doing amazing work, especially with respect to all our content. And this is, I mean, creation of authentic content is the best way to grow on these platforms and that's what social media affords and there are other reasons as well i mean social media can make a lot of money we've heard stories of pastors making billions in a year those sort of money that no money is that on a normal day that have been easy to make but these platforms you know consistency great content that people can relate to it you're rewarded with money 
uh, people can use your platform to sponsor content more you know advertise raise money then you can do a lot of affiliate marketing i mean sell other products other people's products on your platform and pay, pay for it or, or recommend people to buy products from other platforms and also pay for it um the nature of the algorithms you know algorithms are just things that the 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 mechanisms behind social media that tell sort of regulates what people get to see you know we can be in the same country but our timelines show this different stuff and this is done based on our preferences and that the platforms have studied and so um, social media affords this opportunity um, for understanding that the algorithms data analysis and so these things they have like multiple impacts sometimes negative but sometimes positive as well so you can understand your data and systematically grow your platform. So as a celebrity, if yours is, um, say, fashion, beauty, um, maybe you're into literature, the algorithm gets to understand that you also get to master the algorithm. And if you're able to do that in a way that is consistent, you also are able to grow and even become bigger. And a number of people will get to see your content. I mean, for us, for instance, we try to monitor the times that we post the kind of you know content that we put out there recognizing that there's something behind all of these platforms that sort of suggests to people what they can see and what they cannot see so you see people putting tags hashtags and things like that but we'll get to that um, so these are all the things behind social media platforms that make it so possible for uh, for influencers to rise you know for anybody literally to become an influencer or for anybody to become a celebrity okay so viral marketing trends hashtags challenges i mean for almost every music star now once the song drops the next music challenge you just get people to participate because again these are the things that the platform allows um and <laughs> there have been so many one of the most famous would be the Jer jerusalem and everybody just went to court singing. There's been so many, so many, so many. I mean, Don Jazzy's challenge, everyone, uh, Sierra, everybody is just jumping on this trend. Uh, it's so amazing to see how social media is affording these people the opportunity to get bigger, bigger, and better. Of course, on social media platforms, you can also collaborate um, across platforms you can get people to partner with you to get stuff done you can get guests um, to come on your platform people who are popular people who have who are audacious people who have strong views on particular subjects and just by doing that in Nigeria balance you can just blow there are so many things about social media that also allows for this rise of influencers you know digital activism is possible there remember NSAS a lot of celebrities jumped in on it August one protests these platforms allow for this kind of direct, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation, people to hear their views, what they like, what they don't like. And so as a result, a lot of people are becoming popular. And then technological advancements, a lot is happening in the world of tech, from AI um, to VR, to AR, all the hours in the world, if you like. So many things are going on. And for things like live streaming, all of this make it possible for social media to enable the rise of these very popular and highly influential people. Remember, this is the Ellen Hub Media YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching this time, there's something wrong. Just click, click, click. And remember to punch the notification bell as well so that every time we have a new content, You'll be the first to know. It's really important that you do this. Really, really. I mean, think about so many benefits, news, information, entertainment, educational content. Please, please, please. Okay, so let's make progress now to celebrity advocacy. Remember, we started off like saying, and the reason we're doing this course is to understand how celebrities work with people in the world of development to make life better. Okay, so all the things that these people do, the use of social media on all the other platforms, is things like celebrity advocacy, which refers to the practice where public figures or celebrities leverage their fame, influence, and reach to promote, support, or raise awareness about social, political, or environmental issues. This is important. Advocacy, championing causes, 
that are relevant to the lives of people. Whether it's a social issue like poverty, hunger, abuse, drugs, whether it's a political issue around campaigns or large debates or environmental issues. Environmental degradation is something that people in the Niger Delta are currently faced with. Sadly, we have oil spills everywhere. I see issues with soot. It's a challenge. So celebrities, because of how popular they are, and how famous they are, the amount of money that they have, the amount of access that they do have, can go behind, can stand and say, okay, I will start talking to people about this particular issue and see how I can galvanize my supporters to do something that can make a difference for good. They use their platforms essentially to mobilize public opinion. In other words, they will share their thoughts and because they have millions of people following them, they can even choose to partner with other people who have similar views, other celebrities, and they can combine and talk to their supporters to say, look, you need to understand this. They can go beyond that to actually influence the policy. They can work with government private citizens and agencies to say, let's make a difference here. Let's take money um, to people who don't have it. Let's go to rural communities and provide water. Um, where, where are you? Commissioner of Information, where are you? The person in charge of health. Where are you? The person in charge of education. Come on now, let's go. And it's always easy for people in government to work with celebrities because for governments, most of the times, they have limited time. For celebrities, some of them have been in the game for a very long time. So long after you've left office, they will remain relevant. Um, so they use these platforms that they have to advocate for important courses. For some of them, it's girl child education. For some, it's a boy child education. It can be anything, but it has to be a cause that is for good. They also sometimes just draw attention uh, to certain issues, some sort of issues that people don't want to talk about, but they're in a position to talk about it. It may be issues around mental health that people don't really want to talk about. Maybe issues associated with abuse of women. Um, it can be issues around culture. Um, so not only do they mobilize people, they can actually draw people's attention to things that maybe people are aware of and don't want to talk about. So this is essentially what celebrating advocacy. But sometimes the advocacy can be tied to some of what we call the sustainable development goals. These are the 17 interconnected global goals established by the United Nations in 2015. Look, countries converged, sat down and said, look, things are really bad. We need to do something. We, we, we need to have a plan. And this plan is really urgent that we take action on this. Um, and so they said, we're going to give ourselves 15 years to address the things that we call global challenges. And they came up with 17 of them. I don't think there's any challenge that any country is going through now that can all, that's not tied to at least one of these 17 goals. Whether that country is Nigeria or Ghana or wherever else, it's all tied to these 17 goals. And these are the goals. No poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work, and economic growth, industry, innovation, and infrastructure, reduced inequalities, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace, justice, and strong institutions, and lastly, partnerships for the goals. So remember we talked about celebrity advocacy. As celebrities, because of who they are and the opportunities afforded them, can go and stand behind the important causes that can change the lives of people. But I'm also saying that some of the causes that they stand behind, that they support, that they advocate, can be linked to these sustainable de development goals. Um, and so we're going to just drill that down now. So, um, for instance, um, celebrities uh, play this very significant role in promoting what the SDGs are for particular countries. In the case of Nigeria, well, maybe just all 17. For some, for some other countries, their priorities may be six or seven. 
and then every once in a while countries are required to sit down and evaluate how well they've done. Um, celebrities can therefore not only work with the government or raise awareness or advocate for policy changes and inspire action regarding any of the 17 goals, they can also collaborate with international organizations and participate in global campaigns and support initiatives um, linked to whether zero hunger, poverty reduction, gender equality, quality education and so on and so forth. So again, why do they do this? Because they're popular, they have the access, in some instances they even have the money to do it. People know them. Remember one of the definitions of celebrity is somebody who is known for their wellness. And so organizations, governments, people can leverage on this massive followership they have to say, come. If we speak, they may not listen to you. But if you, Ronaldo, come and you tell everybody in this community because they love you, they all follow you on social media, if you tell them something, maybe, maybe because of this emotional attachment they have for you and for your craft because you're this excellent player, they may listen to you. So please, come back and with us. So that's what you do. Celebrities, work with organizations, work with government, work with people, work with one another to see some of these changes. The next thing I'd like to do now is just show you some examples of Nigerian celebrities and some of the courses they have championed over the years. David Doe has done a lot of work around quality education. I need you to look it up. Uh, Mr. P, the half of the P square. I don't know what's happening with P square. I grew up listening to them and so I sort of feel sad that they're having all this trouble, but you know, family, I'm sure they'll find their way around it. But again, he's done a lot of work around health and well-being. The beautiful Genevieve and Naji has done a lot of work around gender equality, advocating for equality of the sexes. Um, Inyadu has talked about clean water and sanitation, raising awareness about the need for healthy living. We have a bit more. Fowls is really popular, um, whether it's his songs that he does. Remember that song that he did, um, Mr. Yakubu, after the 2023 elections in Nigeria? Um, he's been advocating for peace, justice, and strong institutions in Nigeria, um, for a stronger, um, more objective, and transparent elections in the country. Don Jazzy, oh, Don Dad Jazzy, he's done a lot of work around zero poverty, zero hunger. Olomi Dia Bata, some of us may not know him, he's a famous lawyer, um, but now he is running for. He's the gubernatorial candidate, as in the running for governorship, the yeah, state elections. We wish him all the best. But he's talked about climate action and environmental sustainability. And then, of course, there's the lovely basket mouth. And uh, he's also talked about the need for peace, justice, and strong institutions. Okay, so this is the point where I leave you your assessment question. And this is what I want you to do. I need you to identify one SDG. Remember the SDGs? There are 17 of them. I need you to pick one. And I want you to also select one celebrity who you think that you can partner with. Remember all the things I was said in class? You have to, it has to be a best fit. You know, there are some celebrities that you can ask to um, say, advocate clean water if they haven't said anything about it, if they are not interested in the subject. Um, there are some celebrities you won't go for, say, girl-child education, because maybe that's not really their focus. But I need you to identify one SDG and identify one celebrity that you think you can partner with to um, sort of advocate for the reach of that particular goal. I'll say it again. One SDG, one celebrity. I need you to identify three steps that you take with that celebrity towards accomplishing that goal. One celebrity, one SDG, three steps, three things that you do to ensure that in the context of Nigeria, we attain that particular SDG, that particular goal that you selected. And I need you to write this down as your response in the comment section. And remember to properly identify yourself so that when I look on through there, I'll be able to say, well, yes, this person listened. And be able to evaluate and guide you in the con if there's any mistake or misalignment. I hope that the content today has been useful. What did we talk about? The role of celebrities in development or in the communication of development. Sometimes, even though we are experts, 
um, or in your case, you're becoming experts in the field of development, uh, your voice may not be strong enough. You may not have the reach, you may not have the access, but celebrities do. And one of the ways that we deal with that, with our shortfalls, but one of the ways we accomplish our goals is to work with these very famous people um, so that by partnering with them, we're able to reach our ultimate goal. And what is that goal? Making the lives of people better, because that is what we're about. Improving the quality of life of people, improving their well-being, whether it has to do with health, welfare, education, whatever it is, that is our business as development communication practitioners. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you've subscribed. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.